And thankfully this barbershop is open, so that's awesome. What do you got Excuse to say for me. yourself? Hello, Odio. I'm searching for members of the Three Blades. The Three Blades? Ryo, how come you know about them? Tao-san from Ajiichi told me. He said I should ask you about them. Is that so? Will you help me, Maida-san? Sure, of course. Go down past the hamburger place. You mean Funny Bear Burgers? Just past the vegetable stand. Yeah. There's a barber shop down there called Liu Barber and Hair Salon. I already Chinese went there. They're already closed. They're a Three Blades barber shop. Tao-san told me it's closed. Yeah. I hear their grandfather was hospitalized, but he's set to be discharged within the next couple of days. Perhaps today even. Is that so? Well, I'll try there. No, you will not try there because it's already closed. And it's getting dark. So basically what happens when the day is over is that you have to go back to your own house and um, save your game and all that stuff and sleep for the next day to come. And if you don't go to your own house in time, um, you'll just automatically go there and like the person there will be like, why are you home so late? So this place is actually open now, you which saw. it wasn't like five Hello. minutes ago. Welcome! How would you like your hair today? I'm not here for a haircut. I came to ask about people from China. And you are? I'm Yo Hazuki, of the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Hazuki-san? Darling, you saw it in the paper on that snowy day. Ah, I understand you've gone through a lot. I'm looking for a Chinese man who goes by the name Lan Di. Tao Sun and the others of the Three Blades said that perhaps you'd know. So, Tao Sun referred you to us. Well, I'm a second generation Chinese, so I don't think I can be of much help. Maybe they meant your father. Oh, I see. He is. My father's 80 years old. He owned a shop in Yokohama from before the war. Maybe he knows. He's been in hospital for the flu and was just discharged yesterday. He's been through a lot, so we've kept it closed for a while. Is he all right? Oh, he's much better now. Perhaps he's exercising in Suzume Park. Suzume Park? He walks once around Obuita and eats at the Soba restaurant every day. Thank you very much. I'll try there. Okay, we'll head over to the park then. Move up my way, damage. Jeez, no wonder people get run over like nearly every day in this freaking place. Alright, if I can remember right, the park should be around here somewhere. And down here, I think it is. Yep, here it is. Um. Are you Dio son? Yes, I am. And you? My name is Dio Hazuki from the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Ah, I've heard what happened to your father. My condolences. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a Chinese man who calls himself Lan Di. Three Blades members like Ajiichi's Tao son suggested that perhaps you might know. Ah, you know of the Three Blades. I know it refers to the three professions, barbers, cooks, and tailors. 
That it does. Did you know that the proud elite of these professions were also imperial bodyguards, protecting emperors from assassinations with their razors, knives, and scissors? About Landy, I gather by his name that he is most likely a member of a Chinese black market cartel. Or perhaps even the Chinese Mafia. Would they be here in Yokosuka? They have developed a base in the harbor to bypass customs and expand their activities. Try asking some of the sailors in the vicinity. They're bound to know more. Sailors? I'll look for some. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good luck. Rio, you do not know what you're getting yourself into. Finding these sailors is hell. Well, when you don't know where they are, that is. Of course, I know where they are, and we do not want to go that way. Now, when you first played this game, you probably didn't find the sailors. So now I'm going to show you where those sneaky sailors were hiding. If they're open, that is. I'm not sure if they'll be open right now. But seriously, when someone asks you to go find sailors, this place wouldn't automatically pop in your head. Well, well, maybe it would be, but I don't know. Ain't got time for punk kids. Get out of here. I'll smash your face right in, man. All right, let's see when we can come in this place. Um, I'm not sure how long we have to wait to get in here. I think it's just till night time, so... I'm just gonna skip ahead and wait until it is night time. Yay, it's officially night time now. I think we might be able to go in the bar now. Maybe. Yes, cutscene, that means we do. Get out of my way. What? Go home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's how Rio does it. So let's go inside of this bar. A bar of sailors. Welcome. There you go! Milk's perfect for a schoolboy, I'd say! <laughs> Are those guys sailors? Maybe. I'm looking for sailors who work with Chinese ships. What are you, some kind of TV detective or something? Back off. You little punk. He sure looks like a sailor. You learn for some of this? You stupid! Pwned in the face. That's enough. You put on quite a show, boy. I'm looking for info about a Chinese cartel. I'll tell you. What? In return, you don't show your face here again. Okay. Look for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? The unicorn? He deals in smuggled goods. He's well known in the underworld. 
He should know about the Chinese cartel. Where is he? He loves his hog. Try asking at the motorcycle shop nearby. What's he look like? He always wears shades and a black leather jacket, and he's got a tattoo on his arm. A tattoo on his arm? Enough talk. Now get out.